Hello everybody, this is Loud Rocker. Today I got a video for you today, and uh, it is about the uh, Plants vs. Zombies Easter Egg in Dying Light. Now, a lot of people don't know how to do this, and if you do not know how to find this Easter Egg in Dying Light for the PlayStation 4, please go check my other videos, or pretty much any other video on YouTube uh, currently, that will show you this Easter Egg. Now, if you don't know how to do it, I'll kind of explain it a little bit in this video as quick as possible. So the first thing is, is that you want to go to the antenna map. Uh, in order to get there, it'll actually be in a safe zone, a bridge area you actually have to go in that dark bridge area um, where the safe zone is come all the way back to the antenna and then climb the antenna take the uh, line the zip line all the way down to the south I'd say actually I'm sorry uh, the north uh, west northwest area where it actually shows uh, the ocean or the water and it has a mountain in the background the mountain will be on your left side well anyways you take that zip line make sure you do not fall you go down there and in the second part you take another zip line this is the second zip line that'll take you down here okay now this isn't the point of the video. This point of the video is, is in the beginning of this game, I think it was probably maybe the first two or three days, a lot of people found a glitch where you could uh, duplicate your items, such as like in Dead Island, and uh, make money. And as you see, um, if I could show you, uh, yeah, see all my cash on the bottom right, I got over a million dollars, and that was because of the duplication glitch. Um, I knew that they were going to patch it eventually, I mean, it was just one of those patches that they were going to do, but here's one that not a lot of people found out, or I'm pretty sure I haven't even seen yet, because I've checked all over YouTube already, and it could be because the game's fresh and it's brand new, and maybe not a lot of people know it, but here's a little trick. Okay, so we are at where you would join the zombies. Okay, this is the area, and then hop over here, where this flower is, right there, and then join it. Now this is the zombies versus plants uh, easter egg, but here's the thing, okay, yes, this is where the fight would take place, which I've already done in my last video, but here's the thing, you have fluorescent shrimps that are probably about 10 or 20 times bigger than the average. And then you also had Toxic, I think it's Lichen, if I pronounce it. Well, you could grab this, right? Which, a lot, a lot of people know that you could do that. So, as big as they are, you can actually pick these up. But, here's where it gets even better. The thing is, is that even though you picked them up and have left the area, you would think that they would not be there. So you'll spawn right here, make sure you grab this rock right here, right next to the zip line. Go back to the area. And you will get an infinite amount of fluorescent shrooms and toxic lichen. And if I can show you correctly, um, <laughs> okay, toxic lichen we got 96, okay, and then fluorescent shrooms we get 152, so 152 and 96. And as you see, they're back and they're ready to be picked again. Which is crazy, because you think they would patch something like this because of the duplication glitch of the weapons, but... As we pick all these up... And go back to our inventory... We have 158 now... For shrooms, and we also have... For toxic lichen... We have 102. You see, now you get 6 per... Um, I guess flower and shroom, mushrooms. So you get six of each every time you come in. So you're basically at 12 items every time you come in. Now, in order to repeat this process, all you gotta do is come back out and then it'll spawn you on top of the rock. And then you just look for this one rock in particular that looks like it stands out. This one. Climb up it, go back down to the area of the Easter egg, hop back in. And boot. So, you guys have not only a unlimited supply of fluorescent shrooms, you also got a limited supply of toxic, I think, lichen, if I'm pretty sure if I said that correctly. So, yeah. I figure since a lot of people missed out on the uh, duplication item glitch, which a lot of people knew about, you know, throwing your weapon and then dropping it and then, you know, duplicating it sound for profit to the local uh, seller. Well, this is a way that you could probably make a little bit more money on the side. Maybe not as much, you know, because like with a weapon, you could get at least a, at least about a thousand, twelve hundred, fourteen hundred dollars. 
but it also depends on the weapon. And I know this might not be a lot of, you know, money, but the thing is, is that you'll be making some money. You know, it's not going to be as much money as you think it is, but it'll be some money. And not only that, but you figure if they ever have their sales for, their, you know, the toxic or the uh, shrooms, then you pretty much hit the jackpot on that. Not only that, but for me, the reason I'm doing it in particular is because I actually just got a blueprint, uh, a blueprint, <laughs> a blueprint um, of the airstrike, and apparently you need shrooms, which doesn't really make sense, but uh, I don't know. But anyways, so that's the reason I'm doing it. But anyways, if you guys like the video, please uh, leave a like and comment and subscribe for more. And thanks for watching it. And this has been Wild Rocker, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.